हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन आई एम मिस्टर प्रवीण यल्पा कुंभार टुडे वी वॉन्ट टू सी न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन टी डी एम ए द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इज स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टाइम डिविजन मल्टीपल एक्सेस दैट इज टी डी एम ए इन दिस टॉपिक वी वॉन्ट टू सी थ्री न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन द टी डी एम ए numerical number 1 numerical number 2 and numerical number 3 now let us start the first numerical number 1 consider a first example consider a global system for mobile which is a tdma fdd system that uses 25 megahertz for the forward link so here is the for the forward link ट्वेंटी फाइव मेगा हर्ट्स नाउ दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव मेगा हर्ट्स इज ब्रोकन इन टू द रेडियो चैनल्स ऑफ टू हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स ईच टू हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स ईच ब्रोकन सो फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग पर्पज आई विल राइट हियर वॉट एवर द गिवन थिंग्स आते हैं नाउ हियर स्पीच चैनल्स दे प्रोवाइड स्पीच चैनल्स दैट इज Eight speech channels they are provided. Therefore, we want to consider here eight speech channels. Now, are spotted on a single radio channel, and here guard band is nothing. So here, if you consider no guard band, means guard band is equal to what we consider here. Guard band is equal to zero. Now the next thing is that I want to calculate the number of simultaneously users. so i want to calculate the how many users are present how many users are present uh, from this given requirement now so users we calculate users means here i want to calculate n number of users that is indicated by n is equal to now my friends what is the total forward link we are using here 25 megahertz very good divided by now that is a broken into the 200 kilohertz each that broken into the 8 so we will write here 200 kilohertz divided by 8 now if we use this mathematical concept then we want to calculate the number of users so my friends i will use the calculator here so in this calculator first of all i will write 25 megahertz 200 kilo divided by 8 so what we will be get the answer see here 200 k divided by 8 so it answer given as a 25000 its answer is given as a 25000 now if i divide 25 or megahertz divided by 25000 so what will be answer a 25 megahertz divided by 25000 so its answer is 1000 answer is what my friends answer is a 1000 so what i conclude that from this given specification from this given specification how many numbers are how many number of simultaneously users are present 1000 so can i write in this way so number of simultaneous user is we want to see uh, gsm uses a frame structure where each frame consist of a eight time slot means uh, here number of uh, time slot is uh, time slot is a what eight now each time slot contains 156.25 bits so i will write here uh, how many bits are there in each slot so i will write here 156.25 now here and data is transmitted at so what is the data transmission speed so i will write here data transmission speed is equal to data speed data transmission speed is 270.833 kbps so this is a what given things now here what i want to calculate the so first of all time duration of a bit so i will write in this way 
first i will now time duration of a beat is equal to that is indicated by tb is equal to 1 upon data speed 1 upon data speed now what is the data speed is there 270.833 kilobits per 0.69 microseconds yes or no okay now here now the second thing i want to calculate the time duration of a slot i want to calculate here what time duration of a slot duration of a slot that is uh, i will write here time duration of a slot is a ts now how many bits are present in each one that is 156.25 to tb now what is a tb so why i will write here 156.25 because i want to calculate the time duration so here require how many bits i want to pass 156.25 into tb now 156.25 what is a tb 3.69 micro second 0.577 milliseconds so this is the answer of a time slot this what i want to calculate now see the time duration of a frame time duration of a frame that is i will indicate it tf is equal to time slot multiplied by ts now what is the time slot 8 and what is the ts that is a duration of a slot that is 0 0.577 millisecond 4.616 milliseconds now the question number d what will be asked how long must user occupying a single time slot wait between the two successive transmission the answer is 4.616 millisecond the answer of a d is also 4.616 milliseconds now we want to see the numerical number 3 question number 3 i want to calculate here so the question number 3 is a normal gsm has a three start bit so first of all what i want to do whatever the given things are there that first of all i will write so here start bit is a three start bit i will write here okay so 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 okay three start bit and three stop bits and one more thing is that 26 training bits are there 26 training bits are there and for allowing the adaptive equalization now here guard bits that is a 8.25 is a guard bits now and two burst see, see here two burst of 58 bits of encrypted data which is a transmitted at the speed now this is important thing my friend speed is a what 270.833 kbps is the speed in the channel now these are the given things now what i want to calculate first i want to calculate the number of overhead bits per frame that is boh now i want to calculate the boh now so i will write here formula of a boh is equal to first of all the before calculation of a boh i want to write down how many time slots we required which time slots i will require three start bit three stop bits 3 plus 3, 6. So I will write 3 plus 3 plus. Training bits are there, 26. What are the guard bits? 8.25. And burst is 2 into 58. Because here 2 burst and each burst consists of 58. So I will write 2 into 58. So this task is we want to calculate what? BOH. So everyone here pause the video and uh, try to remember what is the formula of a BOH now here for the calculation of a BOH the, the formula when we put 8 is a number of bits into start bit and stop bit 3 plus 3 6 plus 8 into 26 training bits plus 8 into 8.25 is a guard bits so here is 322 the second question is uh, the total number of a bits per frame so this is a what a part now i want to calculate the b part here so b part can i write here yes b part here i write so here total number of a bits per so here total number of a bits per frame is equal to 
8 into so see the total number of a so i will write here total number of bits per frame is equal to what 8 into this time slot 8 into time slots now what is the time slots value 156.25 so i will put here bits per frame required is a what 1 to 5g bits per I want to calculate the frame rate. I want to calculate what frame rate. Friends, I will calculate here a frame rate. Now, frame rate, what is the formula of a frame rate? The frame rate formula is total the speed. What is the speed uh, here? If you observe the speed is a what? Here 270.833 kbps. So I will write frame rate is equal to 270.833 kbps. And each frame, how many bits I will be pass? 1 to 5 So divided by 1 to 5 0. That is a 216.66. This is a uh, this is frame rate is a 2166.66 is a frames per second. Frames per second. Now to calculate here time duration of a slot is time duration of a slot is equal to so here total time slot is a what 156.25 into 1 divided by what is the speed 270.833 kbps now calculate on the calculator 576 milliseconds this is the time we want to here calculate. I want to calculate here frame efficiency that is indicated by NF. Frame efficiency, how we calculate it? The formula is 1 minus 1 minus here the number of overhead bits that is BOH divided by total number of a bits per frame. Total number of bits per frame. Now, put the value here. So, what are the values? 1 minus, what is the value of a BOH? 322 divided by 1 to 5 0. So, 142.4 into 10 raise to minus 3. But my friends, here I want to efficiency in a percentage. So, percentage when I calculate multiply into 100. 100 means what? 10 raise to 2 square. So, 742.4 into 10 raise to minus 3 into 10 raise to 2. Now, 10 raise to minus 3, 10 raise to 2 is a what? 742.1. So, what will be answer? 74.24 is the efficiency. The references for these topics are. Thank you.